Mm. Okay, so logic. Um, I've only been keeping abreast of logic. I think maybe of the past couple of years since he's you know been talking about his mixed race you know heritage, which was a bit of a meme a couple of years ago. Um, what what was the word he says? He doesn't say mixed race. What does he say? Um. I forgot, maybe half black, half white. I don't know. He always comes and goes on about that. It seems like a bit of a meme. So I kind of paid attention to a bit of his music. I couldn't really get into it, to be completely honest. Not really for me. Um, I kind of file him in the same category as like a Kyle, right? That sort of like um, college rap sort of scene thing. It's just not my vibe. Um, but I didn't really think of it that offensively, right? I didn't think he was taking up any space. I didn't think he was um, taking a piss out of the music. I just thought it is what it is. Then obviously the rollout for his last album um, kind of comes into play and he builds it up as this kind of big, you know, deal that he's kind of pulling away from the industry and he's going to drop more, one more last album for his fans but he's had enough he's going to go and be a good dad and do other things in his life because he feels like the industry just isn't the right place for him which is you know it's fair enough do what we need to do but then the entire rollout for it was really bizarre um especially when you have when you listen to the album because there's a clip here where he essentially starts sobbing about the issue which I'm going to play, which kind of made me feel a bit uneasy and after listening to the album, it kind of didn't really make any sense. I'm going to play it for you now. <clears throat> Let's get it up on here. Do, 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 do. There we go. So this is uh, Logic essentially crying about the fact that he's going to retire from hip-hop or retire from being, a, you know, uh, an active rapper in the industry. Let's see if it's going to play. Come on, hurry up, mate. Bubbity, 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 boom. Maybe we've got too many windows open. Is that going to play for me? Are you going to play? Are you going to be a good one? Come on, mate. Give me a sign. Give us a sign. Well, I love you guys. There you go. Big Pepe for keeping me strong. And Jordan and so many. I, I'm forgetting everyone. Thank you to the rap pack. Thank you for making me a better person. <laughs> and I just want to say I'm really happy that I'm not I don't give a shit and that I can go <laughs> fish <laughs> and shoot guns and wipe my son's ass and fuck my wife and have more kids <laughs> uh, thank you to no ID thank you to Noah Preston everyone at Def Jam and honestly, the most fucking number one is six. Um, and Lenny, you know, and six, thank you for always believing in me and, and trusting me and giving me your best shit because fuck everyone else. I want to thank Kendrick because he doesn't know how much he was there for me and Cole <laughs> and Drake and fucking ASAP and Fur <coughs> and Mac DeMarco, man. It's fucking Toro Ima. It was such a dream for him to be on this album and record. And <laughs> there's, there's too many people, man. I, th I thank you all. I love you all. I appreciate you <coughs> all. I bid you farewell. And as always... I'm obediently yours. I won't be on the internet for the first time in my career because it hurts oh, me. Oh, God. This guy's a weirdo, bro. And every time I release an album, I just want it to be loved. And this time, I don't check the internet because I finally love myself. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Bro, anyway, this, I don't know, man. Like, look, he obviously seems like a good enough dude, right? But... I have a problem with men crying on camera like this. I've always had a problem with this, right? Ever since I've seen a footballer cry, you know, from get a transfer, being released, or the club gets relegated, it's just really strange, right? Or nowadays when you see little girls and young boys recording themselves on video, arguing about their friends or crying publicly about something they've done wrong. I don't know, I just find it strange that someone can sit there with the phone, selfie video, record themselves sobbing into it, right? When you start crying, you just turn it off, innit? I don't know, it's just that's what I would do. And crying into webcam full, you know, full of a room with all your closest family and friends is really bizarre in that respect. But hey, let's put that to one side. The thing that was bizarre about this whole thing was that it felt like, in one sense, Logic is 
basically telling his fans or his audience that he's given everything he can give, right? This is all that he can do now. He's not that motivated to make music anymore. It's not as fun as it was to him anymore. Maybe he got disillusioned with the industry. He came into it thinking it was one thing. It was completely the other thing. Maybe he, maybe he even had the issue where he popped too soon. He kind of skipped a couple of steps and, you know, was, you know, I don't really follow his career too tough, so I don't want to know. But maybe he was, you know, he just went from being an underground rapper, not have, having a small fan base to suddenly capturing the imagination of the nation and completely blowing up until he got to a point where he couldn't, you know, keep up with that level of fame. Fair enough. But listening to the album, what you hear is somebody that quite clearly is frustrated about the lack of respect that he gets from his peers. He doesn't feel like his fellow rappers, some people in the industry, respect him enough as an artist or give him the love that he thinks he should be getting. And being somebody of his level, of his stature, um, of his success, having the access that he does, imagine his last album gets produced by No ID, right? That's, that's no like fluke. The fact that he's able to command that level of help and that level of assistance, um, but still not get the love that he needs from his peers must be really great. It must really hit you at your core because at, at his core, he's a hip hop kid, right? He's a hip hop um, backpack kid. You know, he knows everything about rap. He's he studied it. You know, you, you can tell he's a fan of the culture. He's probably got covered in photos of rappers from days gone by but what you do feel about him as an artist is that even again from just listening to it the first time and maybe a couple of times today this morning i still do feel like he's somebody cosplaying as a rapper but he it does come across slightly like that like if you had to create somebody that could rap that could also be um uh, palatable to the wider United States population in terms of him being biracial. I think that's what he mentioned, right? That's the term they use in America. So the mixed race is a biracial. He would probably be the archetype of it. He's pretty squeaky clean, biracial. Um, his lyrics are pretty, you know, there's nothing too egregious in his bars. I'm sure, you know, it's not that difficult to make a clean version of his raps. Um, he's quite palatable, but he just misses that X factor. And I think that's the part of artistry or of, of creativity that's really hard to stomach for a lot of people part of the a lot of the success was sort of somebody like a rapper whatever that you may be on your industry band member a band even some of it can be just ascribed to you know having the resources to good studios good producers good songwriters right it's having the right network of friends that can kind of boost your stuff right if you get somebody to post your song on an instagram story that could help to completely pop it maybe some kid on tiktok does a dance to it but but ultimately part of the reason why people are successful or part of the reason why some artists capture the imagination of the public and some don't is sometimes due to a thing called x factor which is just hard to attain it's hard to even quantify it's hard to even describe what that is but you know when that person's got it when they have, don't have it and unfortunately maybe even though logic is does that's the one thing that he was lacking not even forget that respect from his peers i think if he just had the x factor regardless he would have been able to maybe get over this hump in terms of feeling a bit disillusioned with the industry but i think when you're lacking the x factor and you already have a lot of self-doubt and then that's getting reaffirmed via people like joe budden saying that you're the worst rapper he's ever heard and all this sort of stuff and that meme goes on it can be hard to kind of get up out of bed and decide to make another track even though you have you know he's got millions of adoring fans out there that would love to hear him you know rap until he's old age but I can understand the lack of motivation when it feels like all you keep getting back is white noise from the industry. I definitely can feel that. But again, the album, I wasn't that impressed by. I think the production is really good. It probably is his best work, listening slightly through his discography. It's probably the best stuff he's done maybe since the mixtapes. I said it's a cohesive project. And then again, it wasn't much to tie it together apart from him saying that, you know, he's done what he can do and he's left the legacy and all this sort of stuff and he's signing out. It just did feel like a lot of frustration on the album that kind of seeped through that wasn't necessarily the best um raps were rhymes were you know what they can be but again what i got away from it was just the lack of the x factor that lack of that certain something that could really separate him from the pack or that could really cement his um position i guess in the culture because that's the thing that must hurt him too he never gets mentioned when people are talking about artists and who's doing what and he's you know he's got numbers to back it up he's obviously got features to back it up he's obviously got industry placements to back it up but no one seems to talk about him 
the way that he probably talks about the other artists that he mentioned, right? The Kendricks, the Coles, even the ASAPs, right? Like, you know, he probably hasn't done much for the wider mid crowd or general public, I'd imagine, apart from, you know, again, there is a, obviously there's a certain fan base that loves that kind of music, but in terms of the overall landscape of hip hop, like, you know, if ASAP Rocky hung up his microphone tomorrow, I don't think he'd be missed that much, right? Um, but he'd not even talked about them in the same light. I mean, that's probably a thing that's great in him, but... I don't know if you like it, logic give it a listen again um probably nice to give it a listen seeing as it's his last album but i can understand why people are not fans of his but i can also understand why his fans adore him as well because there's not a lot of rappers that can kind of do that or that would willingly be that kind of guy right there's him there's kyle i don't know there's maybe chance of rapper there's not many that would kind of pick that lane whatever that lane is right of hip-hop it's a bit you know, it's not for me really but hey what can you